Good morning. So this morning I'm going to make a ton of green juice because I have so many vegetables in here. And I need to just like use up. a bunch of oranges on our walk they look so good and they're super big like these oranges are huge how many did we get babe five mm, yeah like five or six oranges like they're so big i want to try one do you want to try one yeah They're so good. Mm hmm It's one of the best oranges I've had in my life. Lunch is just gonna be two of these little ciabatta breads with some hummus and tomato, lettuce, sprouts, onion. And then I'm gonna head off to Whole Foods. Checking the tire pressure. Oh man, it's updating. Crazy. They have a bar in there. A bar. 17K on the bike. Drinking some of this coconut orange strawberry water that I got at Whole Foods. That Whole Foods was insane, dude. There's so much stuff in there. I didn't actually go into the part where they have like the fresh food though. As I was leaving, I was like, I should really look at the hot food and see if they have a lot of vegan options here, but. Mm. This stuff is good. So good. It's like creamy, coconutty, coconutty, <laughs> orange-ish. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I have to learn how to make this. But yeah, that Whole Foods had a lot of stuff. I'm gonna definitely go there again. Whole Foods is just so much more expensive than like Trader Joe's or um, Sprouts or anything like that. Just, I kind of want to talk about juice fasting. Just because I do have some experience with juice fasting and I think a lot of people, you know, want to change their life and they feel like they have to do something drastic so they're like, oh, I'm going to go on a 30 day juice fast. 90% of those people will never complete a 30 day juice fast. Juice fasting is so, so, so hard. It's basically 
voluntary starvation like unless you are drinking a ton of juice and you're kind of more juice feasting juice fasting is it's just calorie restriction like the reason that people lose so much weight is because their bodies aren't digesting anything they are getting a lot of nutrients and yeah it does have other benefits to it but it's kind of the same as like water fasting if you're not giving your body the proper fuel it's going to go into your fat cells go for that fuel and it's all going to come back especially if you start you know if you go back to like a standard american diet even if you go back to you know eating a high carb vegan diet your body metabolism is so lowered it's in a starvation state within 30 days it's in a starvation state and it is used to it's fearful like it doesn't know if it's going to get any more food you're you probably notice if you've ever done it that your body temperature is extremely low you don't really have any energy i know that people once your body kind of gets into feasting off of its own fuel and stuff they'll have bouts of amazing energy and like mindfulness and awareness and they'll feel so at peace and all this like enlightenment and stuff which i'm sure is a benefit of it and honestly if i had like a disease or something if i found out i have cancer i would totally fast i would probably do a juice fast slash water fast slash whatever i could do to heal my body but for the majority of people for weight loss juice fasting is not a good idea because it's just gonna come back it's just a form of starvation at that point and it's not sustainable just have juice juice is very very beneficial for you if you have juice like with your breakfast like this morning i had 32 ounces of green juice and then i had six figs and then i had lunch like a little bit later because i kind of slept a long time last night and woke up a little bit late but having it with you know fiber and having it with actual food is so much better yeah juice is totally healthy have it with a meal don't juice fast you can lose weight so easily eating a high carb vegan diet it's so easy it just takes time and like it's not going to take you four or five years it might take you a year two years to lose all your weight like in a year i lost 55 60 pounds you know not really sure anymore because i don't have a scale but that's like a half a pound to a pound a week and it will stay off forever and I don't have to starve myself I don't have to do crazy amounts of exercise. I don't have to do a 30-day juice fast, you know And then try and rehabilitate my metabolism once it's over I can just keep doing what I'm doing and be happy and have a lot of energy have a stable mood like help so many people and just do what I do so just for a high carb vegan diet just give it time give it time listen to your body like i've said in all my other videos just listen to your body don't stuff yourself with food don't starve yourself just eat the right amount the right amount of foods and give it time and exercise get lots of fresh air drink lots of water get lots of sleep get off of caffeine and stimulants and just let your body do what it does one two and three You guys like your sweet potatoes? You sure do. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired and full. My legs hurt so bad. And tomorrow we have to bike like 40k to a meetup. So I'm hoping that they're not so sore tomorrow. Ah! 
anyways thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any like t video topic ideas or questions or anything like that that you want me to answer because I'm gonna be doing daily videos from here on out and I need to find things to make them about so <laughs> that would be helpful but anyways love you guys thank you for watching I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>